Good morning, everyone. This is Kathleen with Be Again Books, and I'm here today to share something fun. I think um, it's detailing for digital journal cards. Um, I don't use a lot of digitals in my journals, but I do like to use digitals for journaling cards and other kinds of ephemera. And I have, um, I, I most like to focus on details, I think, in my journal. That's what's the most fun for me when I journal is to, you know, add little touches to things. And, and journal cards are no exception. And so I just put together a list of some really common things that I do to kind of just add some oomph to the journal cards that I make. And these are so these ideas are really simple, many of them, but I just kind of wanted to put them all together in a group and to give you, especially those of you who are kind of beginning this journey into junk journaling, some ideas about how you can make these journal cards to stuff in your pockets and your envelopes and tuck spots and other things, clip them on the page to give some extra journaling space in your journals. But true to my belief, I just think that, you know, if we're going to do something, we ought to do it fancy, right? So, so here's, here's a list I just kind of put together so that I could remember what I'm going to talk about, and you can just take a screenshot so that you can um, have a reminder later. So the first thing on the list is napkin decoupage, which I love to do, and this is an example of that. So this is just the digital image, just printed. Um, this one came from the Graphics Fairy. Most of these today are from the Graphics Fairy because um, she is so generous to share free digitals. And um, But there are a couple of others in here, and I'll point those out when I get to them. But this one was a Graphics Fairy, and I've just added three different layers of napkin. Um, this little bird's nest here, the flower in the back, and then the, just some text on top of that. So that's a, a really easy thing you can do to just kind of dress up um, a, a plain digital. It doesn't add any bulk. It's completely flat. All right, the next one is just to use a machine stitching. Um, so this looks like I've layered and sewn layers on, but it wasn't. This is a Cara Brandon digital, and it's just a collaged uh, part of it one of her pages and all I did was just sew around the edges of the print so again there's no extra bulk and um, I like the way that looks it just kind of dresses it up a little bit and then I put paper over the back of the stitching so that it's easier to journal on uh, collage okay you all know how much I love to collage so this is just an example this again graphics fairy basic digital on the back and i just printed it off and then i've just layered a bunch of other papers in a collage on top so um, punched corners that's this one this is also graphics fairy digital i just used a corner punch on each of those in the old days, they used to sometimes print with these fancy corners, and so I'm kind of mimicking that vintage technique in photography, and so I've just mounted that on another paper and distressed the corners and the edges. Um, hmm, a punched edge border. So you can use punches, in, on the corners and also just as a, an edge. So this is another digital from Kara, Brandon. And I just printed it out and 
and then just punch the edge. So it just gives just a little bit of, of something detail um, there. Embossing. Oh yeah, I love to emboss. And this is another Graphics Fairy Digital. And I just embossed the corner here and then distressed it with some sandpaper to bring out the design a little more. I, I love embossing. I do it a lot. Um, charms. So you can just add a little charm to a digital to make it just a little bit more fancy and stick that in a pocket or a tuck. A frame. So this is sometimes in little ephemera packs, you get these little frames and and you might not know what to do with it. This is what I do with it. I will sometimes just frame one of the elements. This is another um, part of a larger digital from Cara Brandon. And I just cut it down to make a journal card and then just glued this simple frame around that, that bird. And I think it just kind of brings a little bit of detailing to that really simple journal card. You don't have to use a frame cutout you could do the same as we did with the machine stitching and just stitch around it. Or you could just take a, a black pen and, you know, draw a circle or some kind of a frame that would frame part of the image in the digital. Um, glossy accents. This might be kind of hard to see, but hopefully you can see that I've added a little bit of glossy accents to that digital and let it dry and then um, this is also another vintage technique this is a digital from the graphics fairy it's just printed but um, in the old days victorian days around the turn of the century even they used to add uh, glitter and other kinds of accents that would make the postcard look kind of cool so that's another fun thing to do is add some glossy accents. Uh, another thing I do a lot is just add some washi tape along the edge of the digital. And um, I usually put it off-centered. I mean, sometimes I make it straight, but I kind of like it to be a little bit asymmetrical. So there's some gold in that washi tape. I think that's kind of pretty. This is also a uh, graphics fairy. And let's see, text, just, yeah, simple text stamp. This is a Cara Brandon. And um, you can just stamp something on there. I stamped it. I'm not that great at stamping, honestly, but you know, I try. And sometimes if it doesn't work just right, like this was a little bit smushed down here at the bottom. So I just took some sandpaper and um, distressed it a little bit. And that just makes it, you know, kind of covers up that mistake a little bit. Um, but I like the way that looks now. It adds no bulk, which I really appreciate. And, but it still, you know, details the, the digital. Um, a fabric snippet. Yeah, I love making snippets. I love collage and fabric collage is just as fun as paper collage. So this is a graphics fairy digital and I've just added some uh, fabric and then some cheesecloth and a little bit of lace and then this this uh, flat back pearl and sequin right there. So it just makes a little snippet for for that card. Uh, texture paste. Yeah, that's this one. Um, I just use a stencil and some texture space paste, and and then um, that just adds a little bit of interaction, some detailing to that card. Um, a layered stamp image. Okay, so what I mean by layered stamp is that it goes on top of, of the other images. And so this is another part of Kara's um, digital. And so I've just cut it down and then just placed a stamp over these others. 
um, that stamp turned out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that job. Uh, tab on the edge. So sometimes all you have to do, it's got a pretty digital and just add a tab. It just adds a little bit of a detail. Uh, lace and trim on the edge. Yeah, this is, I love this beautiful image, this woman. Um, and, and then I've just put a little bit of rickrack and then lace on top of that to create this kind of a layered edge for that digital. And finally, this is just a, a die cut um, layered on top of another digital. I'm not sure who belongs to this one. It was just in my my drawer of printed ephemera. And um, I just have put it on this journaling paper um, and folded it up. And sometimes I put that over the corner of the page or one of the shorts in the journal. Sometimes I tuck it in a pocket. So, so there's a whole pile of ideas for you, I hope. Hope that helps, and uh, let me know in the comments if you've got an idea of a favorite thing that you do to detail journal cards for your journals. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate your support.